everyone, it's Diane and it's the Angel Hug for Monday the 20th of May and I have kind of had a feeling today about a theme of staying in our hearts and not overthinking too much and I kind of meditated on that before I got to the recording and this is kind of what I received, it's something like this. So. We decide that we need to make a decision or make a choice and we think our way through it. We think to ourselves, okay, what's going to be the most sensible, logical, intelligent thing to do, okay? And um, we think, okay, I'm going to go this way and the heart sort of, sort of, there's a nagging feeling, there's a nagging sense of a little voice saying, are you sure you want to do that? And the mind says, yep, yeah, that's what I need to do. I don't know if it's what I want to do, but it's what I must do. And the heart says, well, okay, the opportunity to be happy is always here. And the mind says, yes, okay, fine, but heart, I don't think you understand how people make decisions, the choices that are available to me right now. This is what is being presented to me, and this is therefore what I must do. So the heart says, okay, the opportunity to be happy is always here. So we make the decision, we jump in, because the mind likes to really consider things and jump in. And a few months later, we think, okay, I don't think I'm that happy. <laughs> and suddenly, out of nowhere, the thing that we actually really felt would be good reappears or appears in our lives. And we say to the heart, the mind says to the heart, why didn't you tell me that this was going to come up? If I'd known when I was making that decision that this was going to come up, this thing that I really, really, really want, I wouldn't have made that decision. I would have waited for this to happen. And the heart says, the opportunity to be happy is always here. So the mind says, yes, but heart, you don't seem to understand how we make decisions. We have to make decisions based on the facts, based on the reality, based on the intelligent, logical, sensible thing to do, all words that the head loves. And the heart says, again, the opportunity to be happy is always here. And so the fact that this new thing has suddenly re-emerged in our lives and or risen like cream to the surface of the primordial decision-making soup isn't a bad thing when compared to the old decision, the, the one that we've just made, it doesn't mean that that was wrong because when the heart says the opportunity to be happy is always there or always here, what it actually means is the opportunity to be happy is always here. Be happy that you made that choice or that mistake. Be happy that this new thing is here. Be happy that you make bad choices sometimes, perceived bad choices. Be happy that there are always other options and possibilities. Be happy that you're grappling with being human and making bad choices. Be happy that you're uh, ascending and aspiring to pure consciousness. All of those things are good things. The thing that you think is so great that you should have chosen then isn't going to make you happy anyway because the opportunity to be happy is always here, right here. So in other words, nothing will ever make us happy. Nothing, no thing or person or place or situation. The opportunity to be happy is always here. The heart is giving us an opportunity to play with that, to enjoy that, because what it actually means is not the opportunity to be happy is always here. The choice to be happy is always here right now. So today, Monday, the 20th of May, we are going to start playing with the idea that we can choose to be happy right now. We only have to choose to be happy for 10 minutes or so because actually we're not talking about what makes us happy. We're talking about what brings us into the vibration of the heart where we can hear a voice that's always telling us that the opportunity, the choice to be happy is here. It's right here in the heart. And if we can connect with our hearts, we don't have to worry about being happy. We'll find all sorts of other things in there. Contentment, peace, um, a smile, things we can't explain or rationalize. And that's really what we're trying to do. When we talk about being happy, we kind of know that crap stuff will always happen and we might always deal with it badly, but we'll always be able to connect with something that feels good when we connect with our hearts. So that's the theme for this week, something like that. 
The difference between the head and the heart and how to keep coming back to the heart, how to stay in the heart, if possible, and or how to keep coming back to it once we lose that connection. So today I'm choosing a really playful card from the fairies deck and inner power is the card that we've got. I love this deck because it's so, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just magical and playful and it has a youthfulness and an innocence that really is a reminder of that time when we didn't have to think about whether it was our head or our hearts, we were just in our hearts. And the message for today is your connection to your heart really is your power. So nothing that you achieve or that you think or that you believe or that you plan or decide has any power at all. All of your power, your sacred power, your creative power, your power to embrace life, your power to enjoy life, even, yes, your power to be happy right now is right here in your heart, inside. So have a great day with that. Enjoy, experiment, and let me know about your experiments with choosing to be happy today. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.